we want a method of dispatching that is consistent with the research we want to do. So if we want to study the DNA, putting them in alcohol is great. If we want to have them dry mounted, putting them in alcohol maybe is not a great idea. So I use a couple of different things in the field. One of them is a kill jar. And the kill jar, uh, there's two different chemicals we use. One is cyanide, that's my preferred method. And the other is ethyl uh, acetate. And that's something you find in fingernail polish remover. So remember, fingernail polish remover kills. It's a jar with some plaster. In the case of ethyl acetate, we pour a little that soaks into the plaster and it evaporates back up and fills the jar with the gas. In the case of cyanide, we put a little layer of cyanide with plaster on top and the cyanide slowly fumes up through that plaster and fills the jar with the fumes. But in either case, it's the fumes in the jar that's killing the specimen. These were killed with ethyl acetates, which was easier for me to get in another country than cyanide. That always is the challenge as well. But fortunately, Indonesia is um, you know, very well stocked in, in all the entomological needs that one might have.